Hi, I'm Bruce Edmonds, and as you know, six years ago I had a major ischemic stroke, which has left me half paralyzed, and also causes causes seizures, tonic clonic seizures, vocal seizures, stress seizures, and I'm right now I'm at the Royal Melbourne Hospital, and I'm using these special glasses which have two lenses inside it. Okay, this technology hasn't been rolled out just yet, but the Royal Melbourne Hospital right now at the Epilepsy Clinic, we're trialing out these glasses to see the seizure activities in your eyes, which connect to the brain, which is connecting to the cameras and going out to computers outside. Okay, this is to help people not fall over in the sense, you know, people have drowned due to the fact that epilepsy has caused them to drown and to fall over and to hurt themselves. So with this technology that gets rolled out eventually, the Royal Melbourne Hospital are doing this for the fact that they're trying to help people with epilepsy. My epilepsy is post-stroke epilepsy. So unfortunately, these things are happening to me without me, without me realizing. And hopefully with these glasses that I'm wearing, which are technology glasses, and I forgot what OptiCare is what they're, they're, I think they're called, OptiCare. And with OptiCare, it gets set up onto an iPad first. You know, it takes your pupil blinking from left to right. If I look straight ahead, if I look to my left, I blink. Okay, that iPad will pick up the acknowledgement the brain activity right now is picking up the acknowledgement on the computers outside. But at the same time, when you're using this device, the more you wear it and these things happen, they can record it. And, you know, the Royal Melbourne Hospital should be credited and the actual team who are, and the scientists behind it who are trialing this on patients should be thanked because if they can avoid people having major epilepsy attacks using the OptiCare, OptiCare glasses, then that's the best we can do. MC Junior over and out.